Welcome, everybody. You're listening to Possibility in Action with Robert Party, the podcast where we broaden our perspective and empower ourselves in five minutes or less. So let's get started. Hey there. Today, I'd like to ask you a question. And the reason this question is coming up is because I've been speaking with a lot of people that desire transformation, especially after the pandemic. Whether we were truly locked down or we had some freedoms, we had much more time to question our lives and we had much more time to understand our identity. And partly that comes from the fact that our identity is made up of so many different facets which we weren't able to participate in. Whether it's going to the office, going to the gym, seeing friends, a movie, a play, travel, family, And it left people with this feeling of discomfort, this feeling of disenchantment almost with their life. And they want transformation. Now, I don't know if you're one of those people that want transformation, but the question I'm going to ask you is what underlies transformation? Are you willing to leave who you are for who you could become? That's the question. Because transformation is not easy. You know, again, if you think of the butterfly in the cocoon, that butterfly has to push with such great force through the opening in the cocoon, which is so narrow that it pushes the fluid from its body into its wings. If it wasn't difficult, there wouldn't be enough of pressure to fill the wings with fluid and for the butterfly to fly. That's transformation. Are you willing to leave who you are for who you could become? Because transformation will impact all aspects of your life. You may lose or alienate the people around you. I watched that with my wife as she transformed. She lost some friends and she lost some family. But she gained some friends and she gained some new deep relationships with other family members because they valued her transformation. So leaving who you are means a completely radical shift in your life. That's transformation. It's not a new haircut, going to the gym and getting a six pack. It's approaching life with a new perspective and a new philosophy. And if you've been listening to this podcast often, you know that my philosophy is possibility in action. And when I chose to transform after my wife's death, I did get pushback from friends and family and colleagues, but I wanted to become. So my suggestion for you is if you're really desiring transformation in your life, realize it's going to be work, long-term work, and ask yourself, am I willing to endure the discomfort and leave who I am for who I could become and then go out and live? as Possibility in Action. Until next time. Thank you for listening to Possibility in Action, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Ciao.